well, it's been a, a summer of comebacks, and one thing I never thought I'd say, maybe you never thought you'd hear it, well, Anthony Straker, welcome back to Aldershot Town. Thanks to be back. And some say never go back, but like the gaffer, you, you clearly don't agree. No, I go, I say, go back to places where sometimes you've got a bit of familiar, familiarity with, but yeah, like, it feels a bit strange to be back, but mm. good at the same time, so yeah, I'm happy to be here. And looking at it professionally, why why Aldershot Town? Clearly lots of good memories, but looking forward, why do you feel this is the best place for your for, for next season, for your future? I think one would be to get back playing on a regular basis again, if I'm doing things the right way that the management wants. At the same time, is that brought me back is the management. I said I've worked with him before on many occasions and I said his style of play is what I'd say is a good style of play and they enjoy playing underneath it and I think all the boys that he signed in will enjoy it as well. And you said you, you, you've stayed in touch with Gary, clearly there's there's an affinity there, a mutual appreciation. Yeah, real appreciate that too, he might not see that but I see it as when I first signed the first time around, you could kind of say he kept me playing football because he made me find a love for the game again at such a young age when boys were being released from clubs mm. and ever since then I've still been playing and enjoying myself. You were, lest we forget, only 18 when you first arrived here and in the best possible way, you do seem to have been around around <laughs> forever. Because I'm a young gentleman in a little, <laughs> little way, but yeah, no, I said, played a good amount of games and hopefully can come back and play some more here and one, put the club back where it was mm. and get the ground rocking how it used to before I left. Yeah. Only four players have played more games for Shot Town than you, the club has clearly been a big part of your career. Yeah, real big and like I said I didn't even know that, <laughs> that I'd played that many and I was on that list but it's good to know I'm on it and mm -hmm. so that I can tie up some more and find my way higher up it. Gary's mantra is to, to look forward and not look back too much but you must have some, some great memories here, is, is there any favourites? The, the Blue oh. Square Premier title win, the games against West Ham, Manchester yeah, United. Think, uh, all, the, all the ones that you called, the main one for me is, I think being so young was the first one in my first year yeah. of might say men's football was getting promoted and that made you feel that feeling that football can be good, when it's good it's good and to enjoy it when it's there. And maybe now I might look back and say I didn't enjoy it as much as I should have back then, but I said hopefully you can do it again and if we do that again I will enjoy it this time round. Yeah, I suppose that, that maturity, that experience to be able to enjoy things when you're that young, it happens so quickly. Yeah, that was just true and that's a from hearing things, things maybe not been so happy around the place, but just get that like I said at East Bank shouting yeah. and rock, rocking again and singing how they used to and hopefully we can do that. A lot has happened since you left us four four years ago. Primarily, maybe you, you've, as a player, you've maybe been more converted into a left winger. But I think Gary sees you coming back as a left back. How, how did that discussion go? Was that something uh, yeah, that you uh, were happy with? Yeah, because like I said, his style of football is an attacking way when it when the time's right, and I think that suits me as a player. So playing anywhere along that side means I can get forward and get involved in play, and I'll be happy once I'm able to do that. And that's, that's it, he gives his fullbacks that freedom to, to bomb on and you're, a big part of your game is your pace, your attacking style, that's, you're excited to be, yeah. to be part of it. Yeah, I said, kind of feels that saying going back to how things were before and if it's like that, that's it, he's got no complaints and it'd be good to be part of it. You've already said it, you're also, one of your ambitions this season, you're looking to re-establish yourself as a, as a, a regular starting, starting player after Grimsby and York where maybe things didn't work out as, as you'd hoped. Yeah, I think that we all play football for that reason, is to be in an, an 11 every week. Sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it does, and yeah, that's what I'm here to hopefully do again. Ambitions must be tempered, we can't get too carried away thinking it's going to be 2007 all over again, but there does seem to be a quiet optimism around the club. You're looking forward to, to coming back for pre-season and, and getting started. Yeah, I can't. Wait to get started. That was my first question when I got in the office with the gaffer and was to know when we would be back in. And like I said, we're not saying that it can happen first time round, but we'll give a good go at it to try and make that happen anyway. So to be at the right end of the table, that's it. That's the first ambition to yeah. Ultra Town have spent the last the last three years 
not fighting, always fighting against relegation, but securing their status. And now the next level is to, to start competing at the right end of the table. Yeah, that's, that's the first aim is to be at the right end of the table, pushing for things and being that kind of team that's there to, you might as well say, be an annoyance <laughs> to teams that, and to show that, yeah, we're here to show that we, we deserve to be up this end of the table and do so. Well, I hope that comes true. Anthony Stryker, welcome back. No problem, thank you.